Good morning, today I'm going to show how to set up some basic security levels in your Node.js Express application using Helmet. I create a new folder, make dir express helmet. Inside of this folder, I create a new npm package, npm init y, and then I'm going to open my code editor. I'm going to create a new file, app.js, and define an express server there. const express equals require express const port equals 3000 app equals express and we will handle only one route here app get the root route we handle request res response and inside of this callback we send just the header h1 with text hello helmet exclamation mark now we we'll launch the server app listen port and we define a callback where we will log console log the server is running on port and then we also define the port port now let's install express and launch the app yarn add express node app.js the server is running on port 3000 let's curl our server curl http localhost 3000 with the flag include flag include makes curl include the headers in the request output Main problem here is that by default Express uses this x powered by header and it tells that our server is running using Express. That's not good because people will know that it is Express application and they might use Express specific vulnerabilities to hack into your site. We could just manually disable this header, but there is a better and more holistic way to set up your headers properly using Helmet. Let's install it. Yarn add Helmet. Now we go back to our application. We import Helmet. Const Helmet equals require helmet then we add the helmet middleware app use helmet and we are done let's relaunch the app and make another curl request first of all the x powered by header is gone that's good but we also have a bunch of other nice headers you can see the whole list of added headers on the helmet website where they also describe the vulnerabilities they're closing using those headers but let's just quickly go through the headers we see in the console so first of all we disable the dns prefetch the default behavior for a lot of browsers is to go through the links on your page and even before the user clicks on them to resolve their dns records which means resolving the url to the matching ip address and it is bad for your users privacy not all browsers do it by default but this uh, header will prevent those who do next goes xframe options same origin that means that your website will only allow to use itself in an iframe on the same origin this header prevents the click jacking attack when you hide an iframe with the button you want the user to click on and showing the user some other actions that they will be more likely to do they will think that they will click this wanna see cute puppies button but instead they will actually click the button on your iframe so to protect your users from this attack you only allow your site to be used in an iframe on the same origin the strict transfer security header makes the browser to only communicate with your website using HTTPS, including the subdomains as well. The X downloads option header is only relevant for the old versions of IE and it prevents the Internet Explorer from opening the untrusted HTML files that might be served in the context of your site. The X content type option no sniff makes the browser trust the MIME types that you provide to it. So if you say that it is image PNG, it will have to trust you instead of sniffing it out by the type of the contents. And the XSS protection header will prevent some XSS attacks. It does not protect you from the XSS attacks completely. And I'm going to make another video showing how to protect your website from XSS attacks in the browser. So subscribe to the channel to not miss it out. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what are your favorite Express.js middlewares. And join my Discord server to vote for the topics for the next videos. See you next time.